Let's go and see what family favourite Chef Mark is making this morning. What have you got for us? Well, we've got a classic mac and cheese, but we've got a twist in it today. Oh, yeah, it looks substantial. What's your twist? All right, so we've got some of the uh, chipotle peppers, so smoked oh. chilli peppers. <laughs> OK. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's going to be good. And Not we've got some extra bacon in there. For. And we've got a couple of cheeses in there. So we've got a nice. cheddar and a gria cheese as well. OK, so this is fancy as macaroni <laughs> cheese, isn't it? I'm looking forward to it. OK, tell you what, we will get the recipe a little later on. And welcome to the Beko Kitchen. And get ready for Chef Mark's mac and cheese. No packets of, you know, pre-packaged mac and cheese or dry stuff here. This is like creme de la creme mac and cheese. Uh, so we're underway already, aren't we? We are underway. We've got the pasta just cooking there, so that's not too far away. Nice. Um, right, so we need to make the cheese sauce, which binds everything together. OK, cool. Okay. The bechamel. Ooh. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a French lover. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're going to start that. So, yeah, basically, a bechamel. So, it's a white sauce. So, we're yes. going to start off with some butter. In there, we're going, to, we're going to melt the butter and then we're going to put the flour in. Okay. And then we're going to put the milk in and Ooh, we're going to okay. start flavouring it. Right. All right. So, actually, do you want to make it? You can make it. I'll talk you through it. Okay, cool. No, because you can't get this wrong. So, if I can do it, anyone can. That's the exactly. Thing. Now, so that's good. So, just. Once it's all melted, mm -hmm. we'll sprinkle the flour in and just yep. incorporate all the flour into it. And then make sure it's all mixed in and then we're going to slowly, gradually add the milk. And then that's okay. going to be our base. And then we're going to melt cheese into it. We're going to add some more flavours into it as well. Okay, cool. There you go. All right, so, you, so sprinkle that in. Okay. Just a little bit at a time and get it all uh, get it all emulsified into it. Yep. I'm going to put a little bit of oil into the pan here. Okay. Go a little bit faster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Yeah, get that in. Same yep. again. Yeah, get that in, same again. Yeah, and that just helps, like, not to get any, like, large lumps. Okay, cool. And you can see it's sort of, the butter's thickening up because of the yes. flour. Yes. That's good. Cool. Just scrape any flour off the side of the pan. Okay. Just because if that drops in later, you know, that can yeah. sort of pl uh, cause some um, plugs. Yes, and you don't want that sort of little taste, do you? No, 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 no. Nice consistency. Yeah, and no, so that's, okay, so that's, that's really good. That's good. great. Right, and then now you've got your milk here. Right. And then, so the idea is a little bit the same as mayonnaise, so just mm -hmm. add a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then whisk it in, and then a bit more. And then once you incorporate it, you can keep adding some more in. But you, you can see now you've only got like a little bit of liquid in there. Yeah. Um, and you've got the heat in there, so it's sucking it up quite fast. So you can add a little Ooh. bit more in. Okay. That's it, I'll hold the pan. Thank you, because I'm doing this round the wrong way. I yeah. should have done my other hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here, I'm going to swap. All right, you swap. You swap, swap I'll come over here. You come okay, over this cool. side. Sweet. Okay, cool. Right, there you so put it, yeah, put a little bit, pop a little bit more in. Mm-hmm. Right, and that's it. And right, and now really sort of beat that until you get it nice and smooth. Okay. And then cool. once all that's sort of in and you get a nice sort of thick paste, you can add more of the milk and you'll really loosen it down. But then we're going to cook it over a low heat for about sort of eight to ten minutes or until the floury taste has gone out. Okay, cool. So that's um, nice and, and smooth. then it will thicken up again. Yeah, so you can put the rest of the milk in now. Okay, cool. Four. This is hard work in the kitchen, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not easy. You get fit <laughs> doing this, that's for sure. Counteractive, though, isn't it? You, you work up a bit of a sweat making it. Work you, up a hunger. Yeah, work here. So then you deserve to eat it. Do you want the rest of the milk in the whole Yeah, yeah pop yeah, all the milk in. Right, so turn the heat up now. Okay. We'll bring it up to the boil. So it looks really thin now. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's okay. Don't worry about that because you've got all that flour in there. As the heat cooks it out, it's going to thicken up again. So okay, we'll, we'll check that in a minute. Great. Right, now we can get some flavours in here. So I've got, I've got a dried bay leaf, or you can use fresh if you've got it. Yep. Or dried, that's fine. I'm just going to pop that in. That's going to get sort of perfume in the milk with a little bit of flavour. Yep. I've got a little bit of nutmeg as well. This one here. And we're just going to get on the really fine setting on the grater. This just one? some, uh, yep, yeah, that one. Cool. Just some nice fresh nutmeg. Okay. And that's really going to lift it up. You know, you could pop an onion in there, you could you could sud it with cloves if you want. You know, you could, whatever flavour you want, you can put in here, but it's really nice just to put these couple of flavours in. I can just really gives it a little smell. bit of an edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, love, look, I love nutmeg. I've never done that meat before, actually. So there you go. Okay. Is that's it. it. So more? just. Is it enough? Yeah, no, that's good. Cool. That's good. You can put a little bit of salt and pepper in there as well. But just remember, as it's coming up to the boil and cooking out, stir it every now and again, otherwise, you will make a big. Lump. Okay, we don't want that. No, 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 that's good. Okay, sweet. And then what you're going to do now is you can start grating the cheese on the large setting. That's yes. all fine. So we've got some gruyere and we've got some cheddar. You can mix them together. And I just do it onto the board. Oh, okay, cool. And once the sauce is cooked out and we've tasted it and it's nice and thick, oh, we'll take it off the heat. Yeah, right. and we'll just add it and it's just going to melt in. Okay, all oh, this smells good too. Okay. That's great fun, isn't it? Yeah, no, well, it is. And I'll tell you what, because you get that first process right with your sauce, and the rest of it's pretty easy, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, that's, that's, that's your key component of the whole recipe, yeah. 
You get the flavour in there, you're on a winner. And yeah, it's a really good skill to learn, actually, because you can put cheese sauce on a lot of things, can't you? <laughs> Vegetables. <laughs> Steak, okay, cool. chicken. A bit more of this. Okay, well, I'll yeah, keep yeah. grating. But right now, we have to finish off this mac and cheese. So what is next? Things are looking good. Right, so our sauce has been cooked out. Mm -hmm, I'm proud so of that. Take it off the heat, and now you can put all that cheese in there and stir it around, and the heat of the sauce will melt it. Okay, cool. Right. I've got the bacon, so I've just um, cooked it in a pan. You can do it in the pan, do it under the grill, however you want to cook it. Just chop it up. That's ready to go in. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. We've cooked our pasta. We've drained our pasta. Okay, it needs That's it. get it in, get it yeah, in. Get it in. Get what, it and in. then, um, so you can leave it as that, and then that can be just classic mac and cheese, you know? You can add more cheeses in there. I think I've had a mac and cheese with about five different types of cheese in it. Okay, cool. Yeah, but I reckon we could get ten in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> that means a challenge. Well, yeah, why not? Uh, but this one is a little bit different, so I'm going to put some um, chipotle peppers in there. Okay, cool. So, so these are the smoked chilies. Um, mm -hmm. So you get this the sort of the, uh, you know, from the Mexican um, aisle of your supermarket or international yep. aisle. So I'm just going to chop them up and you've got like a little bit of sauce in there as well. And I'm going to pop that in there as well. Oh, nice. You know, just gives it a bit of a different flavour, you know, yep. something a little bit different. Um, you know, if you want to kick up the spice, you can do, um, you know, get a chilli sauce, get a... Uh, oh, that's a good <laughs> sauce too. <laughs> get, get, a, get a chipotle one as well. You can pop that in as well, just really lift it. Um, you know, if you don't like chilies, probably don't do this recipe. Keep it plain. Right, look at that sauce now. Nice and thick, nice and glossy, full of cheese. Got those chilies coming through. Mm -hmm. Pour that into the bowl. Okay, do you want to take this bay leaf oh, out? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a good one, yeah. <laughs> take the bay leaves out, you know. It's done its job. We've got flavour in nice there. Nice and flavour. Yeah, there's yeah. another bit in as well. We'll get so it after. We'll get it out later. So pop it in there. Okay. Um, what Oops, we've got as well, you can put the pasta in there. Put the bacon in there, give it a really good stir. Oh my goodness, look at this. this and then what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to do here quickly is I've saved a little bit of the cheddar cheese. So I'm mm -hmm. just going to grate that. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. You want most of the cheese in your sauce. So that just goes into a bowl. And then I've got some um, breadcrumbs here as well. Mm. Yep, pass it in. That, yep. is, and that bacon. sauce is amazing. That's great, you, haven't, you haven't tried the whole thing yet. So breadcrumbs go in there as well. And a little bit of um, smoked paprika. A little bit in there, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and then this is going to give us a little crunch. So just mix all that through, mm. and then once Mike's all mixed in there, it's going to pop it into the bowl. So make sure you use a heat-proof bowl now. You can do this in little serve, individual serving bowls, or you can do it in a big bowl for the centre of the table. So that goes in the bowl. Oh, fantastic! Let's put a it look in. at that. Yeah, yeah. Put it in. You know, if you. You keep it nice and thick, but if you think that's too thick, just use a little bit of your pasta water. When you drain it off, save a little bit, and you can just mix a little bit through just to loosen it if you want. I'm just going to put a bit more in. I know. We're pressed for time here. <laughs> Rightio. Oops. And then, slopping it everywhere. Oh, Sorry. And then just put some of these uh, cheesy paprika breadcrumbs on top. And Brilliant. whack that under a hot grill. Mm. You know, two, three minutes just to sort of colour and toast and <laughs> Bob's your uncle, there you go. Or you can just eat it now if you want. I know, well it's tasting <laughs> fantastic, nice little kick to it too. We'll finish it up very soon and get it served up towards the end of the show. Speaking of great, a lot of grated cheese went into that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, isn't it fantastic? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, what have you got planned for tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a beef bourguignon. Mm.